it to the outside. Recycled all the way back. I'm sure they're, they're working on it back there. Great. We yes. are here for Wales versus Canada. <laughs> Having a couple a snafus this there. game. Both jammers struggling to get through. And the game is underway. And as you mentioned, as you started to mention, this is for the top spot uh, in their pool. And there we have it. Lee Both of them have Jammer surprisingly Wales. hard times earlier oh, today against uh, Mexico. Lee Jammer was El Tanan. But both managing to score victories earlier on. Sorry about uh, some uh, technical difficulties on that lead in, but we are here now indeed with you. I am the Derby Nerd here with Statman, and we are watching green group action between Wales and Canada. Both teams sit currently at 1 0 in the pool, looking to lock up top spot and top seed in their pool in this one. That's right, and both Wales and Canada played Mexico. Yep. Both were within around 30 points. Absolutely, yeah. Close games. So this is going to be a very intense game. This might be the decider. I'm, I'm fairly sure this is a decider. Lead jam right there to Canada. Still scoreless. So Brad Ass is the lead jammer. And Brad Ass makes a nice big leap at turn number one. Did indeed, we will wait, did not land it. Oh, he did, yes. Excuse me, four points going on the score for Brad Ass. A nice leap. Um, that was a great, great leap. And we will try and keep you updated with the scores. Fluster Cluck up, Fluster Cluck up now against Ashby on the uh, the start line. Four nothing is our score. Two minutes in, we will hope to get that overlay up for you shortly as this game goes underway. But we will try and update you with time uh, and score as much as we possibly can. Uh, all right, and. Here we go, there we go. I can see the overlay. <laughs> We're underway. Looks like Canada about to pick up lead jammer status. Gets leveled. He is in play. He's got lead jammer status. Sick. Oh, we've got, nope, not lead. Okay, that was assessed very quickly. Some confusion there from the jammer refs. And it looks like a cutting call now on to the Team Canada jammer. And that will send a fluster cluck to the penalty box. Power jam opportunity for Wales. Down now 4-0 here early on in this one. Well, you know, it's going to be important for Wales. Here goes five. So they got the lead right here. Of course, that's a lead on a power jam. You've got to say that's not going to be necessarily the way this game goes. But they need to rack up points every chance they get. Yeah, absolutely. And taking advantage now of this Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. Already put up a few points on the board. And interestingly, Wales here playing that passive style, whereas in their first game, you saw Wales very much with the sweeps, mm -hmm. trying to control the pack and the track. Yeah, almost like they were drawn into that game a little bit by Mexico. And now Canada plays a much tighter defensive game. And let's see if Wales follows suit, as you just mentioned they have here early on. Fluster Cluck, as you can see, back on the track and frustrated, gets knocked to the outside by Clark and dragged all the way back to the straightaway. And we have a high, oh, block, high block called on the Welsh Jammer, so he is on his way to the penalty box. And that is going to be another Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. That's right, so Power Jams shift and the lead changes with it. 9-5 now for Canada. You can see the pack set up now on the first apex. Fluster Cluck around, makes a nice little move to the outside. Now trying to work with the help of Tank through a two wall on the back stretch, and he does five more points, Canada. It looks like Canada was also holding a goat back there at the back of the pack. A Little bit of an older style tactic. Works for him so far. Great execution on that power jam. Next jam brought to you by Wicko Skates. Greetings from Finland, your feet called. They need a hug. Best <laughs> regards, Wicko Skates. Anyone who skates knows that exactly. Red now on the start line, did not play in the game earlier against Mexico, was key though, or did not play uh, in the initial game, Canada's initial game, was key against Mexico in that victory. We'll now get the opportunity here on the power start. Absolutely, here we go, the power jam underway. Canada this time opting to play the passive style. Beautiful tap to the inside by Butler, Swifty in assistance. Gets lead jam status, almost blocked into lead jam status. Yeah, he was though knocked out of bounds and that forced to reset back at the uh, Nerd Skate Shop start line. And now Red weaving his way through the pack, collides with a Wales blocker, gets the best of it and gets through for five more points for Canada. And it looks like the Wales Stars are back on the track. Nice little tap out, but it's a back block 
Ashby back on his way to the penalty box. Not a great jam right here for Wales. Back-to-back -back power jams, and Reg makes quick work of the scattered pack at turn three. Another grand slam sitting on 10 points so far in this one. Canada extending their lead to 14 points now. Important 14 points because we know how close you and I expect this game to be. That's right, and Red comes in a little hot. We had a stopped blocker there, and he is being sent to the penalty box, so that will spring Ashby a little bit early from his penalty, and it will be a power jam opportunity, Wales. And let's see what they can do because this jam's going the full two minutes. It's going to be another 45 seconds. Oh, almost perfect toe stops up the outside. Gets right. bounced again and again and again. Out of play, out of play block issued to Titchburn, the captain of Canada. And Titchburn heading to the penalty box as well. Titchburn, one of the most experienced men's skaters in the country. He's been skating since 2008 with the national team. That's a really neat statistic. And there we go, five points up for Wales. So Wales within four, of course. We still don't know the points from the current pass for the Canadian Jammer. Now we do, it's four. And the nerd pack, the nerd track here filling up as the fans uh, spat, scatter in, I think, thinking that this was going to be quite a showdown based on our earlier results. And so far, six and a half minutes in, they are being, uh, their, their call was correct. It is close, 23-18, five points is the difference. Canada's slight edge in power jams giving them the lead right now. Elton off on the start line up against Phillips for Wales. Elton off a little roughed up in the Mexico game after dominating Canada's uh, uh, first game of the day against Germany. So let's see if Elton can bounce back here. All right, and they're underway in this jam. It looks like Canada at the front of the pack, Wales at the back. Advantageous position, heavy recycle on Elton Aw. Very, very well done. Meantime, Phillips being bounced around a little bit. He's got three to beat. Elton Aw's got offensive assistance, but Ben Phillips picking up lead jammer status. He is recycled, but he is lead. And he's gonna kill it. Smart move by Ben Phillips. Yeah, very smart move there by Phillips as Elton Aw was uh, pushing his way through the pack. And up the other side. So Jones comes up to the line now for Wales, and it's going to be Bradass. Once again, part of the father-son duo on Team Canada. His father, Rice Ball, sitting out this game, but did play uh, in the earlier matchups, and I'm sure we'll see him again this weekend. Oh, I have no doubt we'll see him again. He's definitely a stay of Team Canada. Yeah, absolutely. Both of them played on the 2014 edition as well. And of course, he's going up against Reese Jones, plays for South Wales Silliers out of Cardiff, Wales, and its environs. Skaters from almost 45 minutes away will commute into Cardiff. Mm. And in Wales, that's a long way. Yeah, I was going to say, in Canada, that's a, that's a regular <laughs> subway ride. <laughs> They'll drive from as far in as Swansea to go. <laughs> Meanwhile, lead jammer status there too, Brad Ass. Doing a great job catching up the miles. He is fast. Very fast. A couple Wales blockers heading to the penalty box. There's two now in the box for Canada as well. So micro packs on the track. Definitely are. Jones being worked on that outside. Brilliant job. Oh, and a block that sends Bradass 360, but he's able to recover and keep skating. And no pass, but he does get the point. So obviously reset as he came back in. And now Bradass goes right into the block and powers through it for a full scoring pass. Beautiful as piece of jamming right there by Bradass. And just saw that turned defender and went right into that uh, legal hitting zone. He's able to take him out. So 31-18 now, Canada extending their lead as we come up to the 10-minute mark. This next jam brought to you by DerbyShop.nl. Because Roller Derby saved your soul but wrecks all your gear, the Derby Shop is online as well as a bricks and mortar shop in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, online at DerbyShop.nl. Awesome. Fluster Cluck on the line once again for Team Canada up against Ashby. This is a lineup we have seen so far. We are your broadcast crew, Derby Nerd here with Statman, and Devil's Reject is our producer. And there game. we are, there's the track. Reese Jones getting bounced around that outside line. He's very close to the front of the pack. No wonder the Canadians so insistent on knocking him out. Bradass does a beautiful job absorbing a hit and keeping going. Yeah, Bra uh, that's Fluster, Fluster Cluck. I'm sorry, that was Fluster <laughs> Cluck, yes. Both of them are a very similar style of jammer though and able to take those hits. They do, they do. And Jenkins not weak on those chest-to-chest -chest hits. I mean, Jenkins looks like he is going to be charged with the forearm on that one. He will follow the Team Canada pivot tank into the penalty box as well. A high block call. 
Sending Tank into the box. Oh, what a beautiful move up the inside, past his friendly side. He's leveled. There's a call on it. It's going to be cutting on the Wales jammer. Wow. Ashby now sent to the penalty box. The power jam opportunity here for Canada. Well, this is a golden opportunity. You know, 18-36 is not a very big lead. Canada can make it a big lead right here with some good play. Fluster Cluck already sitting on five, picks up five more with a nice clean pass to the outside past Clark. That was the last line of defense. Tank now back on the track, bolstering the offense, and they're trying to hold one back, but not having much luck there. No, it looks like the Wales wall <laughs> doing a very good job of reforming. It's a scramble pack right now, but skating into the block is Butler. Didn't stop him, but it sure held him for a minute. And here comes oh. some Wales offense now, trying to clear a lane, but nice recovery from Tank. And that buys enough time for the Canada blockers to reform, reset. I was wondering where Hughes was, and there he just made his presence known with that counter-blocking offense. And we've got a timeout, quad skate shop timeout called by Wales. I can't oh, imagine that I get more kicks playing golf than I do hitting a b And this one is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. All right, we're back with about 13 seconds left in this quad skate shop timeout. And uh, yeah, Canada coming off of four straight leads. They've been sitting on a couple power jams this game as well. And that accounts for the difference right now. Canada and, and Wales faced each other at the 2014 with Men's World Derby World Cup as well with Canada coming out 281 to 46. Quite a decisive victory that yeah. one for Canada. Wales having improved a lot since then, even just by the current scoreline. Yeah, and as we've seen uh, already today as well. Red now back on the start line up against Phillips for Wales. Canada in the black with the red trim, Wales the opposite. You, you've got to say both of them have strong uniform game at this <laughs> game. The uniform game is strong at the 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Some of the finest uniforms in flat track. Ben Phillips now picking here. up the coveted lead jammer status. There he goes flying around the track. Red not too far behind. Canada looking to reform that wall. Here you go. Wales, That here comes that sweep offense like we saw nice. earlier. A nice move, but was it in time? I think Red snuck in there and stole a couple points. Steals three for Canada. It's three each on this one. So a, a nice move from Red. Just that little burst of speed at the end. Saw a few exposed points and gobbled them up. Red skates in Ottawa for the slaughter squad there. Uh -oh. Capital City Derby Dolls. Next up, we're going to have Elton All against Reese Jones. I was just going to say that sweep play of offense yep. does leave you with a scramble pack. It does. So in that case, Red did a great job picking up those scramble points. Yeah, that's right. They uh, forgot a little bit about the defense oh. momentarily. Nice move on the inside. And that's two straight lead jammer status is now for Wales. And that is Jones with the lead jammer status. And Elton All having a hard time with Clark. He's oh. taking him one on one and another nice move. Reese Jones just going airborne on this. And Wales with a little bit of a pushback here as we near the midway point of this 30 minute group game. You know, people say that's part of the fun of men's roller derby is if the pack is anywhere near the apex, somebody's going airborne. Yeah, absolutely. Almost reckless sometimes, as we've seen so far today. Oh, definitely. In their willingness to endanger themselves for points. Next jam brought to <laughs> us by Roll Line, the Italian tailored skating experience. Skating experience fit on your needs since 1999. Both teams sticking with a tight jammer rotation. Brad Ass out there against Ashton now. Brad Ass in the back for Canada, moving his way up to the inside. Now very quickly skips to the out. Cannot find a lane, but he does eventually skip through. Lead jammer status for Canada, and that stops a run of two in a row for Wales. And it looks like Wales jammer still very much trapped in the pack. That's Ashton. He has not been having his best game this game. 
finally able to burst through on his initial pass, but it is too late. There's the jam called. Nice defense from Wales, though, limiting the damage on that one. Just two points given up. And they stay within reach now, down by 25, just past the midway point. Well, that's the thing with Wales, is when they commit to that full team defense, very, very good. When they do the scramble pack, it just doesn't work out as well. The Canadians are swift enough to pick up those last points. Yeah, absolutely, taking advantage of those spread out packs. Now, so keep, Wales are gonna have to tighten their offense up a bit. They absolutely are. And keep in mind, the winner of this game will likely be the winner of the green group, yeah. which is a wonderful position. For one, it keeps you away from the United States if That's, you win this green group. If you're in second, you're on the USA side of the bracket. Absolutely. And not let any of these teams want to think too, too far forward and count their uh, chickens, as the cliche goes. However, that is something that you do have to be concerned about. It is. But keep in mind, this is not a situation where it would be better to lose a game. In this situation, it's all to play for. Yeah, absolutely. Stream of Welsh blockers heading to the penalty box, and that allows Canada some room to work with. And Flusterclock working on a nice jam here. He already has four and looking for more as Phillips gets drawn back to the backstretch. And Phillips is on his scoring pass. This is Canada letting it ride, extending the jam, picking up a bunch more points. This is going to be very good. It's a great coaching call. Really great. It's 4-2 pack advantage, and they're seeing that the defense has Phillips locked in right now. It's a strong line for Canada. Nice move from the jammer, getting in a little defensive action there, forcing a call off and ending that great Canadian strategy there. It really did. I mean, Lime took a gamble by calling for it. What he got was a five-point gain. Yep. Absolutely. It's nine to four. That's a five-point gain. Any gain is a good game, right? Yep. At 64-34, it brings that gap now up to 30 points. And we're going to see Red with another opportunity on the track to get things started. And he's going up against Reese Jones. You are watching the nerd track here, the 2016's Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Canada-Wales, Red. Picks up a penalty, heading to the penalty box, a back block penalty. He ran into some penalty trouble against Mexico earlier today, too. So Canada going to have to watch it, and especially Jonesy as this tournament up goes on. Absolutely. That, well, the nice thing is, unlike a, a soccer World Cup, penalties don't accrue between right. games. Yeah. Um, and so, okay, you get in a little penalty trouble this game. There's always next game to fix it. But that is something long term you're going to look at fixing. Meantime, it's a nice four with a one pass, uh, no pass, no point for Jones. And suddenly Wales right back in it again, keeping that gap at 30 points. Wild offense there. Almost worked. One now to beat. One to beat, but Canada did a brilliant job of reforming that triangle, capturing Jones again, and now they've got him under control. And they do, and Tichborn with a nice knockout will drag him back, but Tichborn getting a penalty for a direction of gameplay. And so great smart move by the jammer. Absolutely great move by the jammer to recognize that that penalty came. Don't recycle, jump in as soon as you can. And he's gonna get five for his trouble. Nice work there. Smart play by both these teams here. At times in this game, Red back on the track, makes quick work of his initial pass, and now eligible to score. 30 seconds left to go, and the pack is moving very fast. Red's got points. Two each, it's two each, so nothing on that last pass. I was looking over and saw the Wales coach signal, this is your last pass, grab some points and call it. Don't think Jones realized quite as fa how fast Red was on that one. That's right, it was an 11 to two jam, but yeah, Red, we've seen him steal a few points so far uh, in this game. And that does keep Canada's lead at 25 points. 10 minutes to go, this game has just been flying by, a testament to the speed at which these players on the track are playing. Elton on out there to jam against Ashton. Both jammers trying to work their way through the inside as they push the pack to turn number one. Eventually, Elton on is knocked back by Swift and dragged all the way back to the Nerd Roller Skates start line. But returning the favor is Walker and Titchborn. Tank went to level a hit. Nice move by Ashton, though, to avoid it. It's going to be a forearm call on Elton on. He's on his way to the penalty box, which brings up a Roller Derby Athletics power jam in favor of Wales. And this is vital. They're down by, oh, I have to do math, 25, 25 points. <laughs> and they need to get as many as they can here. Ashton being recycled, his offense doing a great job of tapping the recycler out. As Soon as I say that, he gets recycled again. <laughs> 
And nice recycling here. Team Canada doing a fantastic job on this penalty kill. This might have been the last chance really for Wales to make a move in this game. There's an opportunity handed to, to them, but Canada is taking it away swiftly. Canada's defense are doing a beautiful job of locking down those power jams. If I had one statistic from this game, I would like to see points scored in a power jam for yeah. both teams. Yes. I have a feeling Canada is looking at 12 to 20, 12, 15 average a power jam. Wales are looking at seven. Yeah. Oh, if that, yeah. Canada's been doing a great job of locking things up. Well, the greatest hockey nation probably knows how to penalty kill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is a critical part of the game <laughs> on the ice, and I'm willing to guarantee that a, a few of these Canadian uh, skaters have a hockey background. As good as the Cardiff Devils are, I don't <laughs> yeah. think the Welsh have learned the penalty kill as well. <laughs> no, maybe not. Not ingrained into their DNA as much as it is in the, uh, the Canadian mindset. No, looks like we have Ashton back, Ash B back on the jammer line. We have an official timeout just been called. It's official timeout brought to us by the Alberta Sports Connection, the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Would like to acknowledge the contributions of Alberta Sports Connection, which helped make this event possible. This is the final game of the opening day of the 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup for both Canada and Wales. Um, we do have a couple more games coming up here on the Nerd track. We will shift back to the red group, see Scotland take on Ireland in what should be uh, <laughs> an, an excellent matchup. It and, will. And, and Finland are looking resurgent in that group. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we'll look out for that tomorrow. Uh, we will see Finland and USA do battle. That could be an interesting one. And then, of course, we see USA, the favorite, versus Japan, the sweetheart. And everybody's looking forward to that one. Yes. I, I imagine the few points that Japanese scores will be met with uh, roars of approval from the audience here at the Acadia Recreation Complex. You almost feel sorry for the team scheduled on the other track during that <laughs> yes. game. Sweden and, uh, and Chile, if you were wondering, will be on uh, track two at that time. So we are under eight minutes left to play. 70 plays 45 in favor of Canada. Ashby versus Bradass back on the Nerd Skate Shop jammer line. And we've got a full penalty box too, so it's 2-2. Two -two. And there is a stare down going on right now. Stand aside, staring down at Ashby. You can sort of see it on your screen there. Oh. Ashby goes right into it and pushes him aside and gets lead <laughs> jammer status. <laughs> so meets the gaze and skates right on through it. Well, he is a rugby veteran. I'm sure he's looked into the eyes of many a tackle. <laughs> there and you go. Eager to take on the challenge. Oh, Walker comes out of the penalty box and delivers oh. a big hit to the unsuspecting. Four for oh, and there is another steal. Four for Bradass, three for Wales. It was a question of counting the box points it looked like from the delay of that call. Yep. Beautifully done. Really nice move by Walker coming out of the penalty box, catching the jammer unsuspecting. And that allowed Brad Ass some time to come up and steal those points. Canada's stolen quite a few points this game as well. Another critical stat uh, in this one. Six and a half to go, 74-48. And right off the start. It's a jammer on jammer recycle job. And Flusterquack seemed to be okay with that. It's, again, this is Canada's clock right now with only six minutes to go. Absolutely. Phillips having to turn around. I believe I saw his coach actually tell him Give it up, go. Yep, and uh, yeah, Lime said follow him. Keep, and uh, the candidate coach told uh, Cluster Cluck just to keep following him, waste some time. Yeah, let's mention the coaches for a second. Canada's coach, Lime, yep. coached last time at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Yep. Well known around Men's Roller Derby in Western Canada. And women's as well. And women's as well. Yep. Wales's coach, Oshien, is very well known in Women's Roller Derby yep. as one of the standouts for the Tiger Bay Brawlers. Oh, uh, yes, right. And she did not, she was lineup for Wales last year. Hmm. Last year's coach is now on the track. Hmm. And that would be number seven, Butler. All right, there you go. Yeah, Coach Lime also will be making his uh, D1 debut this year with the Terminal City All Stars. Vancouver right. picking up a fifth seed in the uh, WFTA Division I that tournament a, that they will be hosting. That's a great pickup for them to go in as a five seed. Yeah. Great opportunity. And you know, I've seen Terminal City skate a, at least once here. Great job, great league. Can't wait to see him in champs. Yeah, could be a big a moment for them this year. 
Meanwhile, on the track, there is a cutting call to the Wales Jammer, so power jam opportunity for Canada. Red is the Jammer of note, stays in bounds at turn two. Calls it off. Oh, we have a call off. We have a, we have a hit Wales pivot. It's a little slow to get up. Yeah, he's up and moving. Yeah. I believe that was a full-on call off. Yeah, it was called off for him, so we will not see that pivot for at least three jams now. He had a little bit of a bell ringer on that one. He really did. That was a heck of a hit. And EMTs are going to go over just to check on him and make sure. Yeah, so he will be attended to on the bench, of course. Head injury something we take very, very seriously. Coach says he's fine. The medic says I'm talking to him anyway. <laughs> yes. Which is the right answer, it, especially is, when there's a head injury. Absolutely the right answer. <laughs> It's Brad Ass on the one knee at the start line. It's going to be a power start. Jammer, though, is standing in the box, so it'll be a very brief one. and we'll see if Canada can take advantage. They're all jostling for position up at the pivot line, and it's a fast start. Wales keeping ahead of the play, but a nice move from Brad Ass to power his way through. Very simple little offensive work from there from Canada on that fast-moving pack, able to trip them up and split them apart. And this power jam is about to end. He's been standing for... No, no. This oh, excuse me. <laughs> I was... Uh, this is slightly... So, the Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam is now, now over. Yes. Meanwhile, Brad Ass picking up another... He's got five this time, so eight on the board for Brad Ass. Jonesy having to work his way through the back. And again, the uh, Canadian bench smartly wanting to keep that one going. That was uh, his first pass for Jones. So two more points now on the board. Canada managing things very nicely here up 84-48. A much, much better game, I think, for Canada than the Mexico one earlier. Mexico in both the games against Wales and Canada have just come out flying in the opening few jams. And it's really thrown both teams off. And, and Canada, though, is recovering nicely here against Wales. In this Which game. means I can't wait to see the rest of Mexico's games. Yeah. Against Germany... They're going to be an absolute thriller. This is going to be so much fun. That's at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And we have a quad skate shop team timeout. Just go to any game and you're like, oh, yeah, this is why I do this. I skate for Linda Roller Girls, and S1 is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. So we fight and make our own. And we're back with under two minutes to play. Canada 84, Wales 48, brilliantly called team timeout by Canada. And here's why it's brilliantly called. There is a rule that you cannot call a team timeout in the last two minutes. Right. Just for these, uh, these, group, these games. group stage yeah. games. Yeah. Because the clock doesn't stop, you can't call it to force the, the clock to expire during a timeout. However, give it to Lime. He called it with only 23 seconds to spare. Yeah, absolutely. And it killed a lot of clock. So really, really well-managed game for Canada here. And a, a kind of a bounce-back performance for them. This is the Canada I think we uh, expected to see. Without a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt. This is the Canada everybody had expected. Lead jammer, though, for Ashby. Key opportunity for Wales. At this point, i got to be honest, they're playing for points difference. Yeah, absolutely. Again, points differential will help with the seeding in the, uh, the further brackets or as, as a tiebreaker. It will act as a tiebreaker in the group stage. Seeding is entirely by position within group. Yes, right. Yes. Just to make it a little bit simpler on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so five points in it for Ashby. Coming around, Canada in a very good four wall. Nestle crunched both of his shoulders at the same time. Pack kind of stopped up at turn number four, now slowly moving up the first stretch. And moving into turn one, and we have a star pass, a rare star pass in this game, and a track cut called on the Wales Jammer. And so now Tank, who took the star pass, is going to be forced to jam this out and jam out this game. And it 47 will. Seven seconds left on the jam clock. And it will be to jam out this game, because that star pass 
Kills, of course, lead jammer Sadis. Period clock has now expired. They're, Canada are going to take this home yep. as a roller derby athletics power jam. Yeah, and Tank, oh, with a nice little spin move. The veteran blocker with some savvy jammer moves on the track. Nice work from Tank as he comes around another scoring pass. Wales, Welsh pivot out of the box. That's right, and you watch, he's going to get himself into position just in case they want to opt to airlift that star out of trouble when Ashby comes back. Eight yep. seconds left. They might not have enough time to pull anything like that off. There might not be time to end this power jam. One, zero. Ash, unofficial final score, Canada over Wales. 99 to 53. We can definitely say Canada won. Unofficially, Absolutely. 99 to 53. It's a nice performance here from Canada. Locking up, virtually locking up top spot in, uh, in the, the green group. And it's gone final, 99-53. Canada now in, in pole position, 3-0 in that green group. Wales still with two to play. Yeah, and that does virtually guarantee Canada a top spot in this group. And of course, top spot means they will play against the second place. If you are a Canada fan, keep your eye on the blue group. Yep. Winner here, likely Canada now will play the second place team in that blue group. And that looks like it will be Australia or France. And uh, it looks uh, like France it will. Right now. It we'll looks like France go. at the moment, yep. but we'll see how that goes. That decider, of course, not till 1.15 tomorrow afternoon over on the Sisu track. That's gonna be a beautiful game. And that will be Australia has been looking very impressive. Some of the most uh, maybe standout scores from these, this bracket right now. So it'd be nice to be able to uh, avoid them in the first of the knockout rounds as well. Without a doubt. And remember, France did very, very well back in 2014. So they're going to be looking to resume their quality from last time. Yeah. In a few minutes, we'll be throwing you over to the Sisu studio. Yep. But it looks like they're lining up something helpful for you. It'll be Panda and Bob giving you some uh, useful information, I'm sure. But coming up, we're not done with the action on the track. Coming up, we shift back to the red group here on the nerd track. We're going to see Scotland and Ireland uh, at 7 p.m., followed by USA, Japan. And over on the Sisu track, too, we still have Italy and Argentina to do battle. And then Sweden and Chile will close out track two on day one. All right, well, let's now send it to the Sisu studio. Absolutely. For Panda and Bob, stat, for Statman and Devil's Reject, I am the Derby Nerd. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, Canada victorious, 99-53 to over Wales.